and everyone, welcome back to another Troll and Athletic video where today we are going to be having a look at the pre berry press conference and some of the stuff, some of the key talking points that Carl spoke about, including TakeOver Talk, Ricky Holmes, and Esri Concert's future, Carl's job itself, and a few other things as well. So let's get straight into the TakeOver Talk, which I'm sure everyone wants to know about mostly. So, how long is this going to take? Who is it going to be? Well, Carl has pretty much come out and said that he only knows pretty much as much as the fans know. And in fact, some things that have come out the fans have known before he's even been told or you know things have come out on outlets and he hasn't even been told himself this has been the way that Carl has found out so it's not very good he also spoke about how he's been the mouthpiece and he doesn't really think that's fair how we need to sit down as a football club or, or the staff need to sit down as a football club without the CEO and they need to make some sort of statement Carl definitely backed that he said that he doesn't want to get in trouble for his comments but he's an honest man and that he doesn't want to sort of jeopardize his honesty and his own integrity to sort of play the hush tone he wants to be very honest he wants to wear his heart on his sleeve as he always does and he wants to give the important people to the club obviously the fans the Cholton fans the answers that they deserve to the best of his ability he was very clear on that and he said if it affects his job role then so be it so as far as the takeover party is concerned it seems that there are three to four consortiums interested or three to four parties and I think they are mostly consortiums so one obviously is headed by Alex McLeish he hasn't heard that himself Carl Robinson he said but he did know that Alex McLeish and I think it's Andrew Muir or Scott Muir someone like that I can't remember his name but it's M-U-I-R if you want to google his name he also attended the game with Alex McLeish and I think they are fronting the same party but yeah there's three or four parties interested and in terms of a time scale it's expected to be done well not expected I shouldn't say expected because what Carl said is he's been given a time scale where it may be done by the end of January which still doesn't leave a lot of time to settle down the transfer funds the budget and get some more players in so it's not looking particularly good on that front but it does look good in the sense that it's hopefully going to be done by the end of January however he has also been given a threshold that it could take and this is just potential up to five months so that is literally at the end of the season so you know perfect time for us to go through this um, and then further questioned about this situation Carl then got, went on to spoke about his own job his own role would he consider stepping down if he didn't feel like the squad was in a place that can be competitive and Carl's response was firstly this squad is competitive to be promotion candidates when all the players are fit but we've only got 16 players so only five bench players for the Berry game at the moment and we do definitely need strengthening and he said this team with a striker all fit can definitely challenge for promotion so that's more or less the takeover stuff he's not looking to leave but he said it's the last thing in, in his mind and if it comes to the sort of end of the month which seems a long way away for him and it is in the same situation or he becomes more frustrated than he is enjoying his role if that makes sense then he will potentially reconsider his position at the club which is for me, it's worst case scenario. I really like this man as our manager. I like his transparency. I like how he sort of acts as a uh, spokesperson for the fans. He always tries to give messages to the owners. He doesn't shy away from sort of challenging what the owners are doing. And I just think he, he uh, as much as some people might not agree with his playing style, I think he's got us playing a definitely a better brand of football than last season. And I think with the back end financially, he's the man to take us up to the championship. So then we go on to Ricky Holmes his future so Ricky Holmes has apparently according to Richard Corley today has come out and said he does want to leave because the club's not really matching his ambition with all these takeover talks and he is 30 years old he's coming towards the end of his career and he's only probably got a couple more years in him to play at the level he's playing at now with his athleticism and the pace that he's playing at so it may well be that he does go to Sheffield United but there have been no bids so far and if the money's there and if the opportunity to play at high levels there Ricky Holmes may go but it's very difficult at the moment to do any business um, they went on to speak about Esri Konsa who also may be going to a Premier League club with the option to loan him back but what Carl said is that there's no one for clubs to approach at the moment if they want any of our players because of the lack of a CEO and that kind of stuff so at the moment it looks like Holmes may go Konsa it seems less likely but there is a move in the future at some point for him on the cards so we should all be expecting it at some point in terms of incomings there is nothing to expect 
respect. And Carl said that if Holmes goes and he's not allowed to bring anyone in, he said basically Holmes has to be replaced by two players, he said, if someone does leave, if Holmes does leave, sorry. So I imagine that if there is a situation where we lose a player for money and we don't bring anyone in, I would imagine that would be the point where Carl would say, you know what, this isn't for me, and he would walk away. That's the picture that he seems to have painted. So in terms of Carl's job, is safe at the moment as long as he can motivate the team, as long as we don't lose any players without strengthening, and as long as everything's conducted in the right way in terms of this sort of takeover, and as long as he's got a team to sort of, or a squad to go on and compete with in the second half of the season, I think that he's probably now going to say, okay, next season, if we are taken over and if the money is there, that might be the season where we go up. But he's not giving up. That's the old overall message from Kyle today. It was a 30 minute presser, so go over and check it out on Valley Pass if you are a subscriber. And also, there will be a vlog, I think, next week from the Berry game. I will be going and covering that for Valley Pass, and then I will be covering the next home game, which I believe is Walsall on the channel. So make sure you do leave a like on the video. Make sure you leave all your comments and thoughts on all this information that I have just spewed in this video. Make sure you leave all your thoughts down below. Also, next week, there might be a slight change in the upload structure on the channel, so stay braced for that. But naturally, there will be a lot of Chelton stuff still coming in January with the transfer window open and in the midst of all this takeover over talk so anyway just wanted to put that in there as a little disclaimer but i hope you are all on board with everything that's happening on the channel moving forward and i will see you in the next video cheers for watching everyone and sweet as my dog barks thank you luna